You know, I've been watching and covering the Habs in the playoffs. Uh, 10 to 20 games a season since 1973. And I've seen them win. I've seen them lose. I've seen them fail. I've, I've seen them consecutive championships. I've seen them choke. But the 2021 playoff run is very special. i tell you why. It reestablished what Canada's team means to us all. They're not the Toronto Maple Leafs that, that choke on a regular basis. They're not underachievers like the Edmonton uh, Oilers or Winnipeg or the other Canadian teams. When they're given a chance to show what they are, and they've had uh, Final Four runs in the 2010s before this decade. In the midst of COVID, with all the negativity around uh, the world, it was a, a, a celebration of what's best about hockey and also Tampa Bay because Tampa Bay has a great core of Canadian players on their squad. Uh, all uh, bets aside, Montreal could have bet the Islanders, but Tampa Bay has always played Montreal hard. Uh, I thought the series would go five games for Tampa Bay or six for Montreal. Montreal dropped the ball, as we all know, in game two. He played Tampa Bay and he couldn't finish them off. A goal late in the second period uh, ruined him, and uh, Carey Price was inconsistent the, the first, uh, you know, uh, maybe two of the first uh, three games. The overtime uh, win was sort of a, a throwback to 93, a throwback, even go back to 1975 when Montreal uh, knocked off the Vancouver Canucks in five games in overtime at home. Goes back to... Uh, you know, all the great overtime games that Montreal has won. It was a, literally a throwback for that moment. Uh, we were, the goals to the forum were strong. But Tampa Bay, like I said, all congratulations to them. To win two straight titles in any sport is tremendous. So all the fans of Tampa Bay, congratulations. you got a great team. It wasn't a dirty series. It's no, uh, what I call, no bad blood. Uh, Tampa Bay can play any style of hockey. But see, you, um, Tampa Bay can win, like I said, 1 0 or 5 3, 5 3 or 6 3. Montreal can't do that. All they can do is score 3 goals. And if you score 3 goals, they win. Score less than 3 goals, they, they lose. Now, tonight, uh, like Toffoli and some of the other snipers, uh, you know, were off the score sheet, Armia. Uh, really, all they had was the veterans and Caulfield and Anderson scoring a goal here and there. But uh, the scoring touch that he had at times in the regular season didn't show up in the playoffs. But you're playing the Tampa Bay Lightning here. So I think what's going to happen uh, over the summer, Montreal is going to look at trying to give Caulfield uh, much more help with the younger players. I don't think Perry and Stahl will be back. I'll be very surprised. Carey Price again, they'll probably lock him up for a few more years. But, uh, you know, if you're a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, and this goes back to this, look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, will the Toronto Maple Leafs ever have a run like this ever again? Of course not. Because you're not glorious. You're not Canada's team. You don't have the ghosts of Maple Leaf Gardens. All you have is demons. The demons of Harold Ballard, the punch him lack, the mistreatment of your players. All the players you traded in the 60s and 70s and 80s. Sometimes the trades worked out, sometimes they didn't. You try to buy your team, but you can't buy glory. Glory is built on the backs of Elmer Locke and Toll Blake and Howie Morenz, there was a guy on CBC board today was asking what who number 7 was from Montreal. Howie Morenz is from 80, 80 years ago, 90 years ago. We saw George Hainswood, George, like a Vezina. Uh, the, uh, Larry Robinson, Guy Lapointe, Sir Severa, Jacques LaPierre, Ken Dryden, Larry Robinson, Brian Hayward, Patrick Waugh. On list, you going on and on and on here. Uh, even the players, like even the, the, the workers, Yvonne Lambert, Claude LaRose, Pierre Mondou, uh, Jacques Lemire, the two Mahalish brothers, going to players that left the team, Danny Grant, uh, Red Berenson, Mickey Redman, uh, Bobby Russo. I mean, it's endless. You put on a Montreal Canadiens jersey, wear that hat, it's pride. You put on the Leaf jersey, there's nothing. You think you have something, you have fuck all. So for the real fans in the States and in Canada of the Maple Leafs, not the, the crazy one the last few years, but the 1940s, 50s, and 60s Leafs. The Montreal Canadiens played like the Dave Keon Leafs. They played like 
the Howie Meeker leaves, uh, you know, like Del Dole's era, like the Turk Road and all that. Montreal Canadiens overachieved. And to win the Stanley Cup, you got to overachieve. Every Maple Leaf Cup back in the day was an overachievement. But all I can say is this. It was a pleasure covering it. I hope you enjoyed my podcast. I correctly predicted Montreal in six and uh, the, the Tampa Bay in five. I should have bet money, but I didn't. But as, if there's any young child out there who watched the Stanley Cup, let's see, he's seven or eight years old. And he said, Daddy, tell, tell me about Morris Richard. Tell me about Jean Beliveau. Tell me about Guy Lafleur. Tell me about Ken Dryden. Tell me about Bob Ganey. Tell me about Matt Snaslin. Tell me about Patrick Waugh. It'll sit on the knee. He said, let me re- read you this book. We we're all fans of the Montreal Canadiens. We all wore sweaters like the Montreal Canadiens. We, we put her hair like Morris Richard. We're all we're, we're, uh, we're all Morris Richard on the, on the rink. Montreal Canadiens are glorious. Embrace it. We're not going away. We're back. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Stanley Cup.